A lot of people are getting angry at me lately for using my virtual reality headset outside, but a lot of people don't even know how the sunlight actually interacts with the headset. Now, depending on the type of headset you have, the sunlight will actually interact with it differently. It affects the sensors across them all the same, but that sunlight will actually affect the 3S and the 2 differently from the 3. Basically, across all three of them, the sunlight will make it harder to track any kind of controllers or hand tracking. Because it's using IR to be able to track anything, it'll make it difficult to track outside with the UV light. In the past, I've even reviewed stuff like this, where you can take this attachment and put it on the front of your Quest 2 and make it easier to track things outside. So it's not going to destroy your quest by playing for it outside for five minutes, but I wouldn't recommend being out there for hours and hours and hours in direct sunlight and a lot of heat, just because that's not good for electronics in general. However, the thing that does affect it differently between these is the type of lenses. The Quest 2 and 3 uses these Fresnel lenses, and if you've ever tried to use a magnifying glass with any kind of sunlight to try to start a fire, that's essentially what it does. It doesn't actually harm the lens itself, but what it does do is focus the sunlight through these Fresnel lenses that act like a magnifying glass, and it burns a hole in the screen behind the headset that's actually displaying into your VR view. So if you are going to play with the Quest outside, I would recommend actually putting on the headset in any kind of shaded area and walking out into your play space. So that way these are never in any direct sunlight. The Quest 3 uses pancake lenses, which are similar, but the big difference is instead of it actually burning a hole through it, it basically creates a permanent god ray effect on here to where you it looks like it's something you're supposed to like wipe off in order to see better, but it's like basically a permanent effect on the lens that you're not able to get rid of and it just kind of like looks forever smudged and gross. So yes, it will ruin the lenses if you have them exposed in direct sunlight for uh, extended periods of time. So don't walk outside with your lenses pointed up or anything and don't leave them near any kind of open windows with the lenses facing them. Meta does warn pretty much everybody like, oh, just don't take your VR outside in general because they know that if they tried to explain it in their instructions, a lot of people wouldn't read them and it would lead to a lot of destroyed quests, a lot of people trying to activate their warranties and Meta trying to replace a lot of headsets from people that just don't read and Instructions. So it's not the most healthy to try to play your quest outside, but it's not just going to make it explode either. And Meta probably remembered all the instances of Pokemon Go, and they didn't want to have to deal with a bunch of lawsuits of kids saying, well, it didn't tell me I couldn't play Gorilla Tag out in the street. 